All right, another tutorial. So this week, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly, quote unquote properly, change the color of a car. If you're trying to do like an actual render to see what your car would look like in a different color, or stuff along the lines of that. So let's get to it. So pardon my manners, just something about you turns me to a savage. So, this video was originally supposed to go up on Friday, and obviously it's on Friday, it's Sunday, depending on where you live. Um, but I got home, and my external hard drive that I used to keep all my video and photo crap on was corrupted, which is always lovely. So, I had to spend the best part of six and a half hours recovering it, and thankfully I was able to recover it, and I ordered another one immediately afterwards. But, that's over with, we're done, we're good, everything's fixed. Hopefully, Let's talk about this Miata. As you can probably tell, we have a rather sick looking Rocket Bunny MX-5. And what I'm gonna be doing is turning it British Racing Green, which is the color of my Miata. Shut up. And proceed that information how you wish. So before we start, the way that I think most people use when they're just trying to quickly change the color of something is the hue adjustment, which is right here. And, no, not that. This. So, as you can see, I just I can move the slider around. And it'll change the color of the car, but it'll also change the color of the background. I mean, they have a concrete background right now, so you can't really tell. But, if you want to just change the color of the car, and make it look like it's actually your car painted a different color, you're gonna go want to go the way that I'm gonna show you right now. Also, you're kind of limited with this. You can't really do any fine adjustments on the colors, so this just really isn't the most efficient way to change the color of a car, in my opinion. All right. So for this project, the freehand selection tool is gonna be your best friend here. So I'm gonna click on that, and you're gonna have the selection type on Edge Seeker and the mode on Replace. And what the Edge Seeker tool is it's a lasso tool that pretty much does most of the work for you and i'm 100 percent sure that adobe has something like this i just don't know if it's called edge seeker because my idea i'm using corel so what i'm going to do is just go along the edge of the car and just keep clicking and it'll start forming an unbroken line and eventually i will just go all the way around the car which i will time lapse for you so you don't have to sit here and watch me do that for seven minutes <laughs> So that's taken care of, and we now have ourselves a body off frame Miata. But we're trying to make this look good and not like a discounted Mako paint job. So we're going to want to crop out the window, turn signals, and taillights, and things of that sort. So I'm going to do that as well. <laughs>
so I got that done too, and I have made all of the layers invisible in that. So now it's time to actually start messing with the color. So you're gonna wanna have the layer with the actual body on it selected. I'm gonna go to adjust color RGB. And what we're gonna do is just completely get rid of the red. So kinda already halfway there. And also you see I, I missed the little little bits right there, but that's okay. It's just demonstration. So we're gonna go to green and we're gonna get make the green a little bit lighter as well and we're gonna bring the blue down and that's actually looking pretty good all right i think we got our base color So next what I'm going to do is go into the levels adjustment, which you've seen in my last video, you know how that works. And I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. I'm get down a little bit. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do with my color, specifically anyway, is go to Adjust, Hue and Saturation, Vibrancy, and then we're going to bring it down a little bit because British Racing Green is not a very vibrant color in real life. So, I'm going to go down to negative 22, and that looks good. Yep, that'll do. So, I'm going to combine all the layers. And I now have myself a British Racing Green Rockabout Miata, as well as a huge financial mistake. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this little tutorial, and if there's anything else that you'd want to see or potentially see, just let me know in the comment section. If you're new, subscribe, hit the bell button, please, that's literally the only way you're going to get notified when I upload anything. And, till then, like I said, I'm fixing my upload schedule and all that crap that I've said before. But, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day.